So the Fragile Freight Challenge involves designing a system to take a fragile payload from a height. It's inspired by the challenge they have in Nepal to move fruit from the mountainside safely to the ground. We really like the design and we're really proud of that. Yeah, I did have fun making it, yes. It was quite fun to overcome the problems that it presented. Well, when, when I first got the competition, I first thought, of a string design but I thought most people would do something like that so I thought let's do something different and I tried a bridge track design which I think has gone quite well for me. We learned like how to like make certain stuff like making a conveyor belt. Oh, it's just given the opportunity to get hands on, get their hands dirty and start making things. Use different materials and just try different things out, you know, like an iterative kind of design thing. And I've had a really good fun. I'm always impressed with how they draw inspiration from their surroundings and put that into the design challenge. And I'm also impressed with how they tackle the challenges they face throughout their prototype iterations. I, I've been really impressed. I mean, I'm not used to working with this age group, but they're their, their presentation skills were, were generally really good and their, their engagement and their enjoyment presenting to, to unfamiliar people and just their whole attitude really is, yeah it's been, been impressive. I thought about becoming an engineer because I want to create something that can help people in everyday lives. I say you should definitely do it, um, even if you're not really involved in STEM, you could get involved in STEM, it could branch out your ideas and inspire you in some way.